What's up, everybody? It's Kiki. And Ray. And we're Team Reese. Team Reese. We're here with another tip video for you. And today, we're going to give you our top 10 items that we will not cruise without. Let's go with number one. Number one, a portable charger. Got to have a portable charger. Tell them about it, Kiki. Listen, I got to have juice for my phone everywhere I go. And you do a lot of walking on cruises. And you're not oh. always sitting around somewhere where you got a place to plug in. It's nice to have a portable charger. I have actually recently upgraded to one that I can actually charge my laptop with too. Right. So that's nice. So uh, yeah, we always keep that. It's also nice to have on port days when you're walking around, you you know, you import, you, your phone might die. Who wants to be stuck in another country without communication yeah, device. you don't want to do that. That's, that's unsafe, honestly. Yeah. That's unsafe. Yeah, you want to keep your phone charged up. So right. take a portable charger. Take that portable charger. What's next? Tell them what's next. Oh, okay. I'm doing number two, too. I'm going to do it, but you can tell them what's next. What's next is comfortable shoes. I'm trying to tell y'all <laughs> tip number two is comfortable shoes because your feet, you're going to walk. Your dog's going to be barking, y'all. You're going to walk <laughs> no matter if you're on the cruise ship or if you're on an excursion, especially if you go on one of those hiking excursions. They always, when you do excursions, they always let you know, for the most part, what kind of footwear you should wear, what you should wear, period, but especially what you should have with your feet. But I'm telling you the truth, get you some uh, comfortable shoes, uh, some comfortable sandals, some comfortable gym shoes. If you have mm -hmm. to get some of those gel insoles, do what you have to do because you are going to love yourself Yes. when you have those comfortable shoes on. Cruise ships are huge. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go explore the whole cruise ship, you're going to be walking a lot. And I mean up, down, left, and right. You're going to be walking. So get you some comfortable shoes. If you're going on an excursion, you never know. That excursion may have a whole lot of rocky of rocky sides. The road, A lot of the roads you go to some of these countries are not paved. So they're kind of rocky, pebble roads. Or, you know, you don't want to be on those roads with uncomfortable shoes because it's going to hurt. Yeah, Ray mentioned, like, he likes gym shoes. I really like Tevas. So I'll link some of those down below. Uh, I think they have been the most comfortable shoe for me for a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually lasted all day at Disney and my feet didn't get tired. So <laughs> those are my go-to shoes for when I'm traveling somewhere. Yeah. Tiva, you out there? Holla at us. Item number three. Take a sweater or a jacket. It's going to get chilly. Listen, those nighttime... Look, I like to lay on the deck at night and stay up at the star. You know, do a little stargazing. It gets chilly at night. Even if you're in the Caribbean or in Mexico or, you know, wherever you decide to go on your cruise, it can get a little chilly even if you take a warm weather cruise. Even in a summer month sometimes, it can get yeah. really cool on the water at night. So definitely want to have something, a jacket, a hoodie, something that you can throw over yourself to stay warm. Um, it also is cool in a lot of spots on the ships the yeah. theaters the casino places like that yeah. it can get pretty chilly so yeah. you want to have something for that you want to have that especially if you have a balcony room or if you have if you're on the top deck mm -hmm. uh, if you're on the top deck on, on a windy day or if you have a balcony room because for some odd reason that wind gets in between that Ooh. balcony and be swirling around you like be whipping. <laughs> but you need that what's you that sound again <laughs> <laughs> but you'll need you need that jacket or that sweater because you it'll get cold real quick for Absolutely. real. Absolutely. The next thing that you should bring, tell them what it is, right? It's a bag. Some kind of bag. Some kind of bag. Your preferred type of bag. My preferred type of bag is a book bag. And see, mine is a tote bag. Right. Or a, um, if you're going on a beach excursion, a waterproof bag. Yeah. A draw Truck. bag. Yes. Something. And not something. even just for excursions. I mean, yeah, you want to be able to take stuff when you get off the ship. You want to have something to carry your stuff in. But even sometimes just moving around the ship, if you got a, a phone and a, a phone charger and, you know, you don't want to just be walking with stuff in your hands. A little drawstring bag is nice for that. Uh, mm. Backpack is cool for the excursion days, or like I said, a beach bag. Um, whatever your preferred bag is, a little cross raise into the crossbody bags now. Um, now you ain't gonna say much about it. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> I, um, I have several now, and I'll probably buy some more before this next year. But I am, I am into the crossbody bag, and so and I think they're essential, especially if they have a lot of pockets on. Because for us, we got we got a whole bunch of equipment. And so it's easier to get to that equipment, an extra SD card, or a, a zip it right down, get the SD card, get um, another battery out for the camera, or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's right there. I can just pull it out, have to take the book bag off, 
look through the bag it's everything's right there so get those and get the ones with the um extra extra pockets but we'll, yes. we'll put a link in the description yes. Yes. next item next item is going to be <laughs> sunscreen sunscreen yes. listen you need some sunscreen don't let nobody tell you that you don't need sunscreen don't let nobody tell you <laughs> that you don't need sunscreen especially if, if you're doing like a caribbean cruise that caribbean sun ain't no joke y'all nice that caribbean sun all. is hot oh that southern caribbean southern sun caribbean. lord have mercy kind of <laughs> you need something to protect your skin definitely take some kind of sunscreen um to protect your skin it's, it's important y'all we gotta we gotta protect what we got yeah absolutely uh, and buy it before you get on a cruise definitely ship. buy it before you get on a cruise ship <laughs> here's an example we thought we had sunscreen going to the bag we didn't have the sunscreen bought it on one of the cruise ships that i've seen that same brand in the store for like eight dollars on the cruise ship it was 25 dollars. hurt my soul we had to buy it. That sunscreen is still going strong. Though. We using that to the last I, drop. It's fact. now time for the next tip. But before we do that, this is a good time for us to invite you to subscribe. We would love if you would hit that little subscribe button on the screen. We love having you here. Hopefully you like being here with us. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it means so much to us and it helps us so much. We would love for you to be a part of the team. Also, if you are interested in getting behind the scenes access, additional content, you know, early notice on what our vacations are going to be, go ahead and click that join button. Check out some of our membership options. You can be a part of our channel membership where you get all those additional perks. All right. Let's get back to the video. Let's go. Going along with the sunscreen, make sure you take a hat and sunglasses. Listen, yes. the sun is hot. Again, whatever you can do to protect yourself is important, especially if you a little hair follicle challenge. You want yes. to protect your scalp. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead. <laughs> you, so you want to protect your skin. You want to protect your your head. I love a nice wraparound hat, like the kind of sun visor hats, because I always have braids. And it's hard to get an actual sun hat on to braided hair. But those wraparound hats work perfectly for when I have braids or locks or whatever kind of protective style that I'm going to have on the cruise. Absolutely. And I learned the hard way when we went on that Southern Caribbean cruise. I didn't have a hat at all. And so I will always see other content creators get the, the men will get the um, straw, the big straw hats. And I will always figure out try to, where to get it from. Well, I saw up found one when we was in Aruba. I, think. Mm -hmm. so Aruba. I bought that hat. I bought that hat with the equipment. And I was like, woo, thank you, Jesus. Snatched it right on up. Yep. So hat and sunglasses, especially because that sun is a different sun in the Caribbean, and especially in the sun, uh, Southern Caribbean. So mm -hmm. get those two things are essential. Next item on the list is an outlet extender. Listen, even if you get on one of the newest cruise ships, the number of outlets is going to be limited mm -hmm. in your room. Mm -hmm. If you get on one of the older ships, it's going to be very, very limited. Very limited. Uh, you'll have a little bit more on a newer ship, but still, it's not enough for us to us. So right. we like to take an, uh, an outlet extender. You basically plug it into your outlet and it has multiple electrical outlets on it. Uh, next up, we have for you, don't forget your travel document. Yes. Ooh. Obviously, this is in no particular order because if it was, this would have been at the top of the list because guess what? One, You're going nowhere one without and those. one B. What's <laughs> <laughs> the next one? Next up, a first aid kit. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Listen, we like to have, and some people think it's overkill. I don't, especially since we travel with a child, though. Every kind of medication that we think we might need, we take. Mm -hmm. So we usually have some kind of pain pill, Tylenol usually. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually have um, some kind of stomach medicine. What's mm -hmm. the modi emodium, emodium or something like that? Yep. Uh, we normally have some kind of acid reliever, Rolaids or you know something. And we always have some kind of um, like cold, cough and cold, sinus mm -hmm. type medicine too because that stuff on the ship is expensive y'all and it ain't you getting little travel packs on the ship and they're expensive you're not getting like full-size bottles of anything but they're pricey and it just is a lot less they're all items that we can use at home anyway so it's not like we're wasting money on them if we don't need them on the cruise i'm just the type of person that would rather have it and not need it right. than need it and not have it right have those things especially Again, especially if you have a child 
you want to have some band-aids you want to have some kind of antiseptic wipes you want to have some kind of wipes if they scrape their hands you want to have that stuff because you never know because again you're on you're on a cruise ship or if you're on an excursion Mm -hmm. you're on an excursion so if you again you're on a mountainside climbing or walking or hiking and you slip and scrape your knee well it's gonna be it probably be a long time before you get back down there to go Mm -hmm. and get something to clean your knee up but if you got your own stuff boom 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 you're good to go next up and last but not least i believe this is going to be this is the last one last one seasickness medicine yeah it kind of goes along with the first aid kit but we wanted to call this one out specifically because even if you decide that you don't want to take a a first aid kit seasickness medicine is important you never know when that's gonna sneak up on you and it has snuck up on me plenty of times yes (laughs) I don't know, like Ray never seems to get it, but RJ does and I do. But yeah, take some kind of seasickness medicine. Uh, we usually take C bands. We like the little C bands with the little pressure point that you mm-hmm. can press on your wrist. They do help us. Ginger, we take ginger candy a lot of time. Yeah. You can ask um, for green apples. Yes, green apples. And you can usually get those even on the buffet. So yeah, yeah you can find those. Uh, I recently heard something about lemons as well. I've heard lemons, yes. Yeah. And then a lot of people swear by the the medication, like the seasickness medications yeah. we take it usually like take it and have it with us like drama me uh, but we don't typically like take it like consume right. it uh, we usually start with the c-bands and that typically mm. works for us so we haven't yeah. had to take pills or medicine for c and if you do get the drama me try to get the one to say non drowsy yes because definitely. it'll have you out like a light mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's it y'all that's, that's all of it. our must-have tips now full disclosure we pack heavy we take a lot of stuff these are just the things that we like refuse to get on the ship without Mm -hmm. we got many many more things that we (laughs) cruise with if you're interested in hearing about some of the other things that we take they just kind of help make things easier for us and kind of make like help us cruise the way we like to cruise Mm -hmm. we could probably do a video like that too but we started with our must-haves because we figured that's what people really really need to have Mm -hmm. so thank you so much for watching the video we hope that you found this informative and learned a little something let us know what your cruise must have drop your number one thing in the chat that you will not get on the ship without right we'll see you in the next video team reese all all day day bye guys